How's it going guys? So I've been making procedural materials for almost four years now and I know how hard it is to learn them. Especially here on YouTube, you can just watch random videos and it's hard to really get those concepts to click when you're watching just one-off videos and not really ones in a good succession of, you know, learning from here to here. That is one of the reasons why I made this course that I'm releasing today. I've gotten tons of requests for this and I'm finally have it here for you guys. Now, this course I designed to actually be fun and interesting to watch. It's not just gonna be hours of just, this is what this note does. If you plug it in here, it's gonna do this. We're actually gonna be learning by making materials we're gonna use in real life. And by making those materials, we're gonna learn really good usable concepts at the same time. For example, we're gonna make a really cool stucco material. And at the same time of making that material, we're learn how to make scrapes and make really realistic color combinations and color effects. This course is all about just getting you comfortable with shading. It's made for beginners and intermediate users. The goal is to get you through this, just the massive cloud of understanding of what is going on with procedural materials and the nodes inside them. I completely understand watching YouTube video after YouTube video and those concepts just not clicking. This course is gonna help those concepts click. And through these eight lessons, you are gonna finally have an understanding of what is going on with procedural materials and be able to make endless variety in those materials. Here's a breakdown of each lesson. Now, lesson one is gonna be breaking down my mindset. When I'm actually approaching materials, what am I thinking of? What is the goal here? I'll also be showing you how I get my reference material and what I'm looking at when I'm actually making these materials. We'll be going over all the default textures that Blender has to offer and how we can mix those together and do some really cool stuff with it. Lesson number two is all about technique. I'm gonna be showing you two of my favorite techniques on how to combine and mix the default patterns with Blender to give you really cool patterns. Um, this is kind of the last boring one. We only have two kind of boring lessons and after that, it's just gonna be having fun making materials. Lesson three is the surface imperfection lesson. This one has a lot of concepts packed into it and that's kind of why I picked it to do that. I'll be showing you how to take patterns, distort them, make them look more organic, make them look realistic. We'll be making scratches, we'll be making scrapes and fingerprints in this lesson. Lesson four is a really quick one. It's kind of a breather from the craziness that was the past lessons, just to show you how to make really cool car paints, how to get some cool color variation, and just make some stuff you see on cars nowadays. All right, lesson five is all about organic materials. We're gonna be making a really nice, realistic leather material. And at the same time, I'm gonna show you how to stack textures and color to make realistic looks and how to hack textures to recreate things you see all around you. In lesson number six, we're gonna be making stucco and asphalt. And in that, I'm gonna show you how to get this really natural looking scale variation. Rather than just having one scale, you can combine them, have a lot of fun with that. I'll also be showing you how to optimize your nodes so you're not using too many nodes at one time. All right, lesson seven is all about sci-fi materials. I'm gonna show you what Blender has to offer to give you that sci-fi aesthetic and then we're gonna be combining a ton of them to create a really, really cool material. This one's really fun. It's a lot of a recap and then some really cool new things that I'm introducing in this specific lesson to help you add detail to plain and boring textures. So lesson number eight is about weathered materials. In this lesson, we're gonna be taking everything we've learned and seeing how far we can push them. So this is gonna be a pretty hefty detailed material, but by the end, you're gonna have a crazy material, a really nice weathered, so we're gonna be talking about weathered concepts and different things like that. So there you go. That is the Getting Comfortable with Shading course. It is available on Blender Market and Gumroad right now. Hit the link in the description if you want to check it out. And thank you for watching.